Jason, what can I do about my floors with darkened rug spots? Can it be fixed? Uh, Wait, I got to tell a story. I don't know. I got to tell a story, okay. I say. Jason and I were going to finish a floor, put up the last coat on a floor one time. This was a beautiful American cherry floor. I love cherry, okay? Cherry makes a beautiful floor. But cherry has a problem. Cherry patinas a lot. It darkens a lot after you put it down. And it will do the vast majority of that darkening as soon as you put it down, literally within the first month, okay? And, and with any hardwood floor, we tell people, don't put any rugs on your floor for the first maybe 60 days that you have it because otherwise you're going to get a, it's going to be lighter and your floor is going to be dark. So anyway, we go out to this house. Jason had installed the floor and put two coats of finish on it two or three months before. It was a very big, very nice house. Probably a million dollar home. Never forget this. Do you know the story I'm talking about? Do you remember it? So before Jason left, they had asked him, can we put resin paper on the walk areas so that the floor doesn't get scratched? He said, you can. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm going to come back in and put a final coat on anyway, so any scratches won't matter. The other thing is, if you put it just in your walkways, you're going to get discoloration. It's going to get darker where you don't put the paper. They said, okay. We get there that morning to put it on. We open the door, and there's resin paper on all the walkways. It's been about two months since Jason's been there. Jason turned to me. He said, this is going to be ugly. He turned to her and he said, ma'am, you remember when I told you not to put this resin paper down that it would be a bad idea? She said, yeah, but my husband is in the lumber business and he said it was a good idea. Jason said, okay. So he picks it up and he pulls it up and you would not believe how much difference there was between where the light had hit it and where the light hadn't. I'll never forget, this lady starts bawling. They had a dinner party planned for like three days later and the floor looked Horrible. Million dollar home. I don't know if that floor ever caught up. I don't know if they could ever fix it. A lot of, it, lot it would of times look they'll kind of blend in, but um, it'll take it some time. Years. I felt so sorry for this lady. So now let's ask that question again. Um, what can I do about my floors with darkened rug spots? Can it be fixed? Usually if where you've had a rug, it won't be a darkened spot. It'll be a lighter It'll spot. It'll be a lighter spot because the wood's darkened around it. Most time dark spots is maybe you left a flower pot on the and watered it and you know moisture goes through there. Um, I've seen them and when that is that water just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper in the wood mm -hmm. and it'll never come out. Right. Um, you can it all you want so it come out. Dark spots as far as rugs. Well, Jason, you mentioned that they usually get lighter, but now I've seen like a walnut floor. A walnut floor will get lighter uh, yeah. with the sun hitting it. So when you move a rug or a couch, uh, you get dark spots and underneath it, it. The biggest, it's according to how long it's been. Um, yeah. You know, if it's, if you've had something sitting there and it's darkened or lightened for 10 years, you can sand and finish that thing and it's going to show exactly where that rug was. Yeah. Uh, may just never come out. And that's why it's a good idea um, to move your rug, even if it's just six inches. Move it six inches twice a year, okay? Just to keep from having that really acute line there that shows where the rug was and was. Even your furniture, especially if you have furniture, your, your sofa has a, a, a skirt that goes all the way to the floor. Move it a couple of inches a couple of times a year just to, to make that line a little less noticeable. 